I'm Dr. Kathleen Coates with Coates Hearing Clinic. I'm here today with my audiology staff, Dr. Molly McCormick and Dr. Marissa Land. One of our missions at Coates Hearing Clinic is to educate our patients and community on the importance of best hearing health care. We've been receiving a lot of questions from our community and patients about the newly released guidelines for over-the-counter hearing aids. We wanted to take a few minutes to review this topic and talk about our recommendations as specialists in this field. Hearing loss is very common. The National Center of Health Statistics in 2014 revealed that approximately 15% of American adults report some trouble hearing. Based on calculations from the NIDCD in 2010, nearly 25% of those aged 65 to 74 reported hearing loss and about 50% of those who were older than 75. Now think about this. There are 28.8 million Americans who could benefit from using hearing aids. However, among those adults who could benefit from hearing aids, fewer than 16 to 30% has ever used them. This is the main problem with the hearing healthcare world. There are so many people out there that need treatment for hearing loss. Untreated hearing loss has been linked with other physical and mental health conditions, such as increased risk for falls, increased risk for cognitive decline, social isolation, depression, and others. A recent study from 2020 found positive effects of consistent treatment with hearing aids on cortical source activation in the brain and showed significant improvements in the domains of global cognitive function, executive function, processing speed, and visual working memory. This suggests the potential for hearing aid use to reverse visual cortical cross-modal reorganization and provide cognitive benefit. The first and most important point we want to make knowing all of this is that hearing loss is a major health concern. We strongly recommend that if you or someone you know notices hearing loss, start with a medical evaluation. Most health insurances cover diagnostic, comprehensive hearing tests with a doctor of audiology. While online or app-based hearing tests may be convenient, they most likely will be inaccurate. Research has proven that testing completed by a doctor in a calibrated soundproof booth will provide the most accurate test results. With our patients, we are able to diagnose specific types and degrees of hearing loss and determine if hearing aids are recommended or not. With any health concerns, it is important for patients to understand their specific condition and to be educated on the best treatment route based on their results. Preventative strategies are also reviewed as an important part of the treatment plan. We recommend always starting with this type of appointment if an individual is experiencing enough problems when he or she feels the need to try hearing aids. At our clinic, we spend 45 to 90 minutes with new patients to review a unique history, complete and review necessary tests, and create a treatment plan. The second main point is that there has been a shift in device coverage in the past few years, and most health insurances now have coverage or benefits towards hearing testing and hearing aids through an in-network doctor of audiology. We verify every patient's health insurance benefits as a courtesy even before their appointment with us. In any given month, 60 to 80% of our patients pay a discounted rate towards hearing aid treatment based on their insurance benefit. We are in network with all major insurance companies and their third-party hearing aid partners. The third main point that we want to make is that self-fit devices have been out online and in stores already, but there will be more over-the-counter devices available soon. These devices are not programmed based on your hearing test. Therefore, you may be receiving more amplification and sound than you need for certain frequencies. There are some types of hearing loss that you could benefit from over-the-counter hearing products. We can help you walk through those recommendations and if you would benefit from those programmed prescription hearing aids or to start with an over-the-counter product. We will actually have some products here to test for certain patients. Depending on the study you read, it takes anywhere from four to seven years for patients with hearing loss to take the first step in coming in for a test. OTCs may be a good stepping off point for a patient with a mild to moderate hearing loss. 
though we are cautiously optimistic about the new category of hearing aids, several state attorneys general across the United States have recently released statements of caution related to OTC and direct-to-consumer hearing aids. These statements warn of possible scams, misleading advertising, and subpar performance of these devices. These statements urge those with hearing loss to seek out professional testing before purchasing a hearing aid. Hearing aids advertised as FDA registered are not necessarily FDA approved. FDA registered merely means the company has registered with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and does not mean the FDA has approved or reviewed a specific product. As you explore your options, know your rights, beware of false claims, and exercise caution. We're here to help if you want to call and ask about a specific company or product. The benefit of coming to an audiologist is that we have joined this field because we are passionate about helping patients. We received eight years of specialized training in diagnosing and treating different types and severities of hearing loss. We are bound by ethical standards, especially here at our clinic. We treat everyone like we would our own family members. Please call us if you have any questions. We are happy to guide you through the process.